Do you or someone you love suffer from WMS, wet map syndrome? You're not alone. Hikers for decades have needlessly suffered from the harsh effects of WMS. The symptoms include the rips, the drips, and the Gaylord Perry. There's no longer any need to suffer from WMS. The cure is easy. All you need to do is follow these simple steps. My name's Mike, and this is Outside Chronicles. I love everything outside. And if you do too, you're gonna to wanna to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos. So the first cure to WMS is to just buy a map that's waterproof. If you buy an Adirondack map or the White Mountains map or a Nat Geo Catskill or National Park map, these are all waterproof. They're come in different types of waterproofing and materials. This White Mountain map is more of a traditional lightweight paper feel where these two maps from the Adirondack Mountain Club and National Geographic are pretty heavy duty, maybe a coated paper. All are good, all will withstand being exposed to heavy moisture and will still perform like they're supposed to. So if you wanna create a custom map, there's a couple different solutions. The first solution is a really cool one from Caltapo and Mountain with a Y. They have an integration where you can create your custom maps in Caltapo and then automatically ship them to Mountain and they'll print you a waterproof map. Their maps are either a paper waterproof or a synthetic waterproof. They cost about $10. They look to be super high quality. I haven't tested them yet. Uh, Hikingguide.com has a great review of that and I'm anxious to try that with my own maps. The other tried and true method to purchase maps is through MyTapo. You can get different uh, USGS quadrangles, custom maps, everything from MyTapo. And those range for about $15. So what you're looking at is $10 with Mountain, about $15 with MyTapo. The only problem with those is it takes a couple days for them to arrive. So if you want instant gratification, I got two solutions for you. The first and probably simplest solution is just to use a Ziploc bag. This is a gallon size bag. It fits a eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper pretty good. Uh, you do have to trim it a little bit, but it does uh, completely fit inside the bag. Um, you can fold it, roll it, do whatever you need to do. If it keeps water in, it's gonna keep water out. Um, the only downside to this is most Ziploc bags have some sort of uh, label where you can write on them, which will cover up your map. So uh, you can use it as two sides, but you will have some of the map covered up by that label. They're reusable, they're easily available, and they're kind of tried and true. The second solution is a little more permanent. I actually laminate these using contact paper, and I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. Um, the contact paper is you know, very flexible. It's waterproof when it's sealed together. And you can roll it, you can fold it, and you can get two sides without a problem. And they'll last for a long time. Another nice thing about the contact paper is you can actually write on this and erase it. Um, some people will put the map on one side and then on the flip side you can put some notes about the hike or some other map that you may need to zoom in on. So, it's a pretty nice solution where you can customize it however you want. So I'm gonna show you how I laminate these. It's a pretty easy process if you follow these simple steps. Okay, so to laminate a map, the first thing you're gonna need obviously is a map. And this is printed out from Caltapo. If you're interested in learning more about Caltapo and their maps, head on over to my tutorial and uh, you can print out your own maps. Then you're gonna need some sort of cutting device. This is just one of those cheap razor blades from Harbor Freight, the kind that you can actually break off the end and make it sharp again. But if you have a high quality X-Acto knife, that'll work too. You'll need some sort of met ruler or straight edge to cut the laminate with the X-Acto knife. Um, this is just a square. Uh, the metal works really good, but if you just have a plain ruler, that'll also work. You're gonna also need the laminate. I use the Duck brand 
It's uh, 12 inches by 36 feet, which is like tons of laminate maps that you can make out of it. I think this is like $6, so it's super cheap solution. And then finally, you'll need some sort of surface to cut on. A uh, cutting board or um, old piece of wood will do. So now that we got our materials, let's laminate this map. So the first step is to measure out our laminate. So what we're gonna do is kind of unroll it and it gets a little squirrely because it wants to be rolled. So try to roll it as flat as you can. And this duck brand actually has measurements on the back side. And if you remember, it's a 12 inches. So we can actually take our map and orient it in the vertical fashion like this. And that'll give us a half inch on the top and the bottom because you want that half inch so it seals together um, when we bring the other side on. So we're gonna give about that same half inch on the far side, as well as right here. So this comes up to the seven inch mark, which gives me a half inch all the way around. So what I'm gonna do is just take that mark and I'm gonna fold right along that seven inch line. And what you want to do is get as crisp of a fold and as even of a fold as possible. So I'm going to come over to this seven inch line here and I'm going to pinch. So now I know I got those down. And then, like I said, you want it to be as crisp as possible. And it's kind of scrolling in the background there. So I'm going to just get this down, flatten it out, and make sure I got a nice crease in there. Okay, so now what we can do is flip this over the other way because we're going to basically just make another half. We've got that good crease, and if you see, this one's coming to about the nine and a half mark. So that's going to be our place that we're going to cut. So let's get our straight edge out. We're gonna lay that flat right at that nine and a half mark on both sides. And we're gonna cut. With a sharp knife, it cuts pretty easily. So I'm gonna get the roll out of the way. And now we have our map that we're gonna actually laminate like that. So what we need to do is, this is kind of the tricky part, and I'll show you the way I do it. So you want to get this as flat as possible on your surface, and you're going to peel off one half of it, and if you just pinch this corner, and it'll eventually actually go a little bit flatter once you get the paper off the back. So go up to the fold and you'll see it'll actually lay kind of pretty nice for you. Now what we're going to do is just line up our piece of paper. I'll do it this way in that quarter, about a quarter inch away from everything. So once we got that, we're going to put that down and make sure it's flat. And you don't, obviously you don't want to touch the glue as much as possible. So now that we have that, we're going to do that same thing on this side. We're going to peel back this paper and you can see how it kind of just flattens out and you don't get that sw swirling action of it being rolled up. So now that we have this, we're going to carefully fold along that crease up to the top. And if you're not exact, that's okay and then just flatten, flatten it all out from the middle on out. And you'll, get, you'll see some air bubbles, things like that, but you can kind of work those out. Flatten it out, flatten it out. Work the air bubbles out. And now you see we have our map. And we, because we went a little bit close on this side, which is where you want to error, you want to err on the side of that closed side, the folded side, 
we have a little excess here. So what I like to do is just kind of clean it up. We're going to just take a little bit off, but you don't want to take too much off to get too close to the paper because then it'll actually separate and it won't be waterproof anymore. So let's just take a little bit of that off. Once we have that off, we're good to go. And we have our laminated map. And what's great about this is you can fold it if you want. You can roll it. You can write on it. And it's going to be good to go for several hikes at that same location. So a little bit more permanent than the Ziploc bag and also looks a lot nicer and a lot more professional. Don't let your friends and loved ones suffer in silence from WMS. Share this video immediately. And if this cured your WMS, hit that subscribe button. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside. Mm -hmm.